Today on Crafty Fox Blue, we're going to be building our first trolley bus. So this is the Septant New Flyer Industries E40 LFR used in southeastern Pennsylvania in and around Philadelphia. And it's an electric trolley bus, so it draws power using uh, dual overhead lines. So you can imagine there was like overhead lines over here. This, this is where the electricity wires connect to this part where the contact. We also do have some anchor wires here in the back goes to the back of the bus and um yeah this is actually a commission again by trainmaster3985 so thanks to him for making this video possible and let's get started on the tutorial so first off we'd grab nether brick slab smooth quartz slab and block and uh, then we'll add in well that's actually it for now and then we're going to add in a nether brick slab. So it's four blocks wide, hovering above the ground. And then the middle part, we're going to make it so it's two blocks wide and 18 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we're going to make this go all the way across. Now in the back, we're going to make it four blocks wide. And then in the front, we're going to add in two smooth quartz slabs. All right, then we're going to skip two blocks and add in another one here. And then go in the back, we're going to add in two slabs and skip two. Add in smooth quartz slab. Then I'm going to fill in the space in between like that with it. All right, so let me check out the side of the bus. All right, so on this side, we're going to use polish diorite slabs. It's going to be two blocks right here in the front. And now we need to add in the wheel. So that's going to be a black wool, black concrete, polished black stone brick wall, stone button. So first off, go in the front here and add in uh, the black wool, black stone brick wall behind it, and stone button to the side. And the other side, we're going to do the same thing. And then we'll go right here in the back and do the same thing again, just over here. And then we're gonna line it up the other side. And this back part, we're gonna add in smooth quartz slab here. Smooth quartz slab and then two polished diorite slabs and then smooth quartz slabs all the way across for the rest of it. All right, so next up, we'll go in the front and we're gonna add in uh, smooth quartz slab in the middle on the left hand side and then smooth quartz stairs next to it smooth quartz block in the corners and we'll add in stone buttons in the front of that and we'll also add in this bike rack using a uh, birch fence gate and we're going to open the one on the left all right so then behind it uh, we'll add in this red concrete it looks like on both sides two blocks wide then to the side, we'll add in a uh, stone, I mean, smooth quartz block like this, two blocks long, smooth quartz slab. And then we'll go in the back here and we'll add in a row of four smooth quartz blocks. And then smooth quartz blocks in the edges like that. Then down over here, it's gonna be smooth quartz slab here and then stairs upside down. And behind it, we're going to add in red this side and then blue next to it. All right, so on top, we're going to add in uh, two blocks wide of black glass like this. Then black concrete behind it. And then we're going to make a two by two of black concrete in between the wheels for both of them. And then above these slabs here in the middle, we'll add in smooth quartz block. Then smooth quartz slab uh, right here, and then a stairs upside down, and then another smooth quartz block, and then a bedrock. All right, then we'll go in the front, add in upside down smooth quartz stairs to the side of that, and the other side we'll add in smooth quartz slab here, stairs. Same thing on the other side, and on this side we'll add in smooth quartz block. It's going to be two blocks here in the back and then we'll connect this middle area together except 
the parts above the uh, polished diorite slabs. We'll skip that area because that's supposed to be a door. So the doorway, it's going to be a 2x3 of black concrete. So let's add that. Other side, same thing, 2x3. Then we'll go in the front. We're going to make a 2x4 of black concrete for the windshield. On top, we'll add in two polished black stone brick slabs in the middle and nether brick slabs in the corners. Then behind it, we'll add in a row of four smooth quartz blocks. Okay, next up, we'll add in two more black concretes over here. And then we'll go in the back and we'll add in a smooth quartz uh, block right on top of this bedrock. And then a quartz pillar on top of that. And the other side, I believe that's just smooth quartz. So we add smooth quartz, two blocks tall. And then smooth quartz stairs upside down facing towards the glass like that. On top of the roof, it's going to be four blocks wide, a smooth quartz slab. All right. Next up, we'll add in uh, these two dark prism rain slabs here. And then a blue concrete. It could be two blocks wide. And I'm going to make it four blocks long, so one, two, three, and then four. And the rest of this, uh, let's uh, go in the front, add two blocks wide, smooth quartz in the front. And then red concrete, two blocks wide all the way across. All right, so next up, we'll add in an upside down smooth court stairs to the side of that dark prismarine slab, both sides like that. Then we'll go ahead and add in smooth court slabs all along, it's gonna be an upper slab along the side of this. And the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing all the way across the front okay so next up inside over here we'll add in a black concrete pretty much going to be filling in all this area that we could see that's going to be exposed we are doing the 3d effect for these windows and yeah we just need it all pitch black really tinted all right so after we've done that we would add in some window pillars so take out a diorite wall and a birch trap door so we're gonna add two blocks tall diorite wall here then we're gonna skip a block and then add in two back-to-back -back birch trap doors close them up like that and other side we'll do the same thing i mean on top we're gonna do the same thing i mean all right then we we'll go um next skip this block here and add diorite wall two blocks tall like that and skip a block and then do the same thing here. Making another window pillar. And then we're going to skip a block and add in a smooth quartz stairs. Skip a block here, smooth quartz stairs, and slab, stairs, slab. And on top of these stairs, we're going to add in these birch trap doors. I'm going to open them up or close them. I don't even know what to say. I think it's open, right? Then we'll, we'll add in a black glass block in this corner here. All right, so for the other side, we'll add in smooth cord slab here, stairs, slab, stairs, and then trap doors, or trap doors on top of the stairs, uh, black glass in the back here. All right, next up, we'll add in um, some of this uh, banners. So to make these two banners for the doorways, you're going to need the following materials, uh, white dye, black dye, banner, and then a loom. So we're going to go inside our loom, put a black banner in first, and take out white dye, and then we're going to make a border around it. And that's going to be one of the banners. And then another banner, we're going to do the same thing, but we'll put it back, and then we'll add in a black dye, sort of like a triangle at the base of it, like this. Then we'll put it back in, and then we'll make a white dye line across the middle that's going to be our other banner so we have these two banners now so let's go in the front here we're going to place a special banner here a pair like that and these regular banners down below it so it should look like this uh there's a bit of a gap here but you know it's it's the best way i found so far to make this type of doorway because 
it should look like this. And in the back, we're going to add another pair of these. And we're going to add in two more plain white banners right at the bottom of that. Then we'll add two blocks tall, smooth quartz. And then we'll add in a birch trap door. So it's going to be a pair over here, uh, open them up, a pair in the front, open them up. And then we'll go right over here, add in a back to back of these birch trap doors. So that this is going to be one of the window spaces. And we'd go over here and make another window pillar. So that we should have three windows right in this front section. So three windows like that. After we are done with that, uh, we're going to take out a warp button. Just add that to the side like that. The other side, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate. Open that up. Then another dark oak fence gate up in this corner here. Open that up. And then a wither skeleton skull in the front of this. And then on top of this other fence gate here. Next up, we'll need to make uh, this stripe. So that's going to be a black banner and uh, white dye. So go back to our loom, put the black banner in with white dye, and just make a line across the middle. And that's pretty much all there that is to it. And we'll just add in this window pillar right here, close to the front like that. All right, so next up, we'll add in a acacia button, and that will be uh, right to the side on top. Add another one in front of this wheel, another one in front of the back wheel as well. And then we'll go in the back here to this side, and we're going to add that in the front of this back wheel. And what else? Oh, yeah, another one right over here. Then we're going to take out a stone bun. We're going to add an L shape here. And then we will add in dark oak bun, stone bun, birch sign, warp button. So first off, we'll add in stone buns in the bottom corners. Birch button over here in the middle for the license plate and a warp button next to it. Then on top of the sides, we'll add in dark oak buns, a pair like that. All right, the next step, we'll add in uh, a pair of birch fence gates in the middle at the back, and then some spruce fence gates open up towards it. We'll also add in a lever so it opens up towards the fence gate. Then um, next step over here, we'll add in a white carpet on top of this blue, smooth quartz slab there, and then two polished black stone brick slabs here, then two by two smooth quartz slab, and then two black carpets, and then two white carpets, and then a pair of anisite walls, and then a pair of stone brick slab. Then I'm going to add four blocks long of snow layers, one, two, three, four, like this. And uh, then on the side, Right over here, we'll add in smooth quartz slab. So skip a block here, add a slab. And I'm going to add another slab next to this wall, and we're going to connect the two parts together. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Then I'm going to add in snow layer here. So it's going to be three blocks long. I'm going to add an additional layer right over here in the first two. And let me make sure this is the right amount. Okay, good. Then we're going to add in snow layer. So we're going to make this layer a bit taller, like one layer taller than the slab next to it. So extend that out, so... Should be like barely sticking out, like a little bump. Then the front here, we'll add in a pair of polished anisite slabs. And then a flower pot on the right hand side, like that. Alright, so next we can add in a birch button right on top of that bedrock right there and uh, let me see what else we gotta add let's add in actual wire that goes up so that's gonna be a chain block and birch fence gate so pattern that we did here is go down to this wall add in two chain blocks and then two birch fence gates you know what, we're going to make a 2x2. Two two. 
And then we're going to go dangly up and do the same thing. Set two chain blocks. And then two by two of birch fence gates. And we're going to go up again diagonally. And we're going to do the same thing. Then two by two here. All right, so this is at the very top. And now you can also customize this whatever we want, because this can go in different angles. You can go all the way flat down or even steeper than this. All right, so next up, we'll add in this uh, pane. So it's going to be a light gray glass pane. And we're going to make a line underneath this fence gate, just one side. And we're going to make this line go pretty much down to, I guess, near where the window is. Um, it depends if you actually prefer this or not. So for me, I don't really like this in a default where it connects to uh, the glass you need a debug stick to make it not stick together so I would just skip that and you can uh, just leave it like this and if you want to add in the other side again like in default minecraft these glass panes will stick together so I don't know if you guys would like that or not uh, but yeah I'm just gonna like leave it alone since I don't think it looks too good I wish it was like separate I guess a way if you want to make this separately though, if you are really insistent on this, you can add in a chain block and this can go all the way down like this. Uh, that is another option you can do if you want to add in like the two wires. But for this one, I'm just leaving that one. All right, so uh, after we've done that, we're gonna add in what else? An acacia button right here to the side of it. And I think that is actually uh, pretty much it on how to build the SEPTA New Flyer Industries E40 LFR electric trolley bus in Minecraft. And thanks again to Trainmaster3985 for commissions built and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy the video, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I will see you guys in the next one.